it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing a, I guess it's kind of like what's new in the makeup world. I don't really know what to call it yet. It's just some new things that I have recently gotten and I wanted to share with you. So it's kind of like a haul, but a lot of the stuff I have been sent, actually most of the stuff I've been sent. So I don't want you guys to think that I bought all this because it was sent to me. So first thing I want to talk about though, April 5th, the day that this goes up, is International Calm Day. There is actually a day specifically for people to relax and to calm and to take some time for yourself. Recently gotten a new app and it is called, I think it's just called Calm app. Little blue box that says calm. Awareness to your arms, extending it down towards the wrists, the palms, and fingers. Her voice is so relaxing guys, like it's ridiculous. I have a very difficult time relaxing and kind of like taking a minute for myself. I'm terrible at it. I used to be really good at relaxing and not being super stressed out, but now I feel like I'm just always stressed out. <laughs> I like have a really hard time relaxing. I have a really hard time taking time for myself. And so this app is supposed to kind of help you with your anxiety if you have trouble sleeping, if you are just kind of a stressy person. So Calm is actually releasing a new guided program that is called Seven Days of Calming Anxiety. And it's basically kind of just like a program to help you guys if you are struggling with anxiety or stress. Stress is not good for you. I mean, we all know that, but yet I think a lot of us have a really difficult time trying to kind of curb or get rid of the stress. Calm.com has offered my subscribers 25% off for a yearly subscription so that you guys can learn tricks of kind of how to de-stress, how to relax, help with your sleep. I know a lot of people have a really hard time sleeping. Jay is actually one of them. I think for us women, we take on a lot and we kind of don't sometimes uh, share it with people and we kind of just like bottle it all up and just keep on going and it's just not healthy for us. And also in honor of International Calm Day, they um, they have a hashtag which is, let me look it up, it's called hashtag calm day and you can post a picture on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook of yourself doing something that calms you. So it's a really cool app. Check it out. It's just a calm app. If you just type calm app in your um, you know, app store, then it'll come up. It features like meditation. It has like really pretty like nature scenes, some really nice sounds that you can listen to to help you de-stress. They also have a book as well that has like quotes that are kind of like just inspirational tips on achieving a more kind of balanced life that is less stressed. And also some like really pretty like just things to look at that are pretty that kind of calm your mind as well. Don't forget to post your selfie of you doing something that is calming to you with the hashtag calm day. I will leave all the information down below. Moving on to all the new stuff that I have. Let's show it. Okay, so the first thing that I think you guys have already probably seen is the Too Faced palette. I do have a tutorial of this that will be up tomorrow and it's what I'm wearing right now, but it's just an absolutely gorgeous palette. It smells like peaches, has a bunch of different tones of colors so that you guys can pretty much find something that you like. So that is absolutely a must have. I love this, amazing. Another product from Too Faced that I'm not super excited about is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. The packaging itself is really cool. It looks like it has little water drops on it and it's the mascara itself is really awesome. It does make your lashes look really beautiful and I have the Better Than Sex, the pink version, but they've come out with the waterproof version perfect in time for um, spring, summer, you're gonna be in the water. However, this, for some reason, the pink one and the blue one transfers on me ridiculously. I've tried it twice now. One with one brow bone color and then one with a different, and both times it got all up on my brow bone, which is what the pink one does to me as well. It got underneath. It just transfers on me for some reason. I don't know why. It is so weird because I was talking to someone on my Snapchat styled by bear i think is her name i'll leave her channel down below and i'll leave the video where she actually demonstrates like dunking her head in water i think is what she was telling me i haven't actually had a chance to check it out yet but she's saying that she absolutely loved it that it was super waterproof it was amazing like she absolutely loves it but for me it transfers me just doing my regular day-to-day -day stuff so it's one of those products that for her, like she loved it, it was amazing, it was waterproof, like bomb. And then on me, I just like went around my day and it was just everywhere. So this is gonna be a product that you're gonna have to try guys because for me, it didn't work, I don't like it at all. I think it makes your lashes look good but I don't wanna be transferring like black everywhere. And then on her, she loved it, so I don't know. That's a crazy, it's a crazy thing. This is really cool. This is from Benefit. This is called the Do The Hula and it's a soft matte liquid bronzer for the face. Basically, 
say you're going to the beach and you self tan and your face is really pale. It's like I exfoliate my, my, my face way more than I exfoliate my body. So my self tan comes off my face way quicker. This right here is just a straight up, it's got a pump top, but it's just a straight up like tan color. It's not got any like, it's not a tinted moisturizer. It is not any kind of uh, full coverage. Like it doesn't have coverage. All it does is just a little brown dot and you just rub it in and it like just gives you a tan immediately, but it washes off. So it's not like a self tanner. It's just like an immediate, like, let me just give myself a little bit of a tan right off the bat because I'm going to the beach, but I don't want to wear any makeup. So if you are someone who is like me, has a little bit of uneven skin tone, doesn't want to wear a tinted moisturizer, but just wants a little bit of tan, this stuff is amazing. It's so cool. It's so perfect for the summer. Um, I also got a new brush from a tooth or from Benefit, which is really pretty. I used this to contour and it was a little too fluffy. So for me, I think I would use it more as a powder brush or if you're trying to like really just bronze up like all over the place, but it's really cute. Um, I also have been absolutely loving this from Benefit. This is the Gimme Brow from Benefit. It is a little, like, you just kind of keeps your brows in place. And I've been wearing it all the time. So it's really super duper awesome. Are you going to focus? There we go. Um, I have it on my brows. It just kind of like gives you a little bit of like more definition to your brow. And it almost gives you like highlights in your brow. It's pretty cool. Next is the Benefit High Brow. It's a brow lifting pencil. Looks like this. And basically, it's just like a little crayon that has like a kind of whitish pink tone to it. And you just put it on your brow bone. And then it just creates that really like non-shimmery, like really highlighted brow. So if you don't like a shimmery brow, then you can always use that one. So there's that. Next from Benefit is the uh, Dandelion Shy Beam. This is such beautiful packaging. Look how cute that is. And basically it is a shimmerless highlight. So it's gonna kind of just bring lightness to your face without that shimmery, um, it's, it's a, a pink, a nude pink matte radiance highlight. So you can use it on your brow bone. I'm just gonna put it, so it comes with like a little brush and you can use it on your brow bone. You can use it on your um, right here. What I've been doing is actually just putting it underneath my eyes, like over the top of my concealer, and it just like brightens up like your under eye. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I just put it right underneath and it just gives you a really bright under eye. It doesn't get stuck in your wrinkles. It's just really, really nice. It's lightweight and the packaging is gorgeous. Another thing from Benefit is the Dandelion Dew. This is a cream or like a liquid blush. Again, packaging is adorable. It's like a really pretty pinky tone. If you guys can tell there, hopefully you can. There we go. It's just like really pale, kind of peachy pink. And I just like to apply it with like a stippling brush. I do have it on today, but it's really just a nice color for spring to just kind of add that little kind of pinky pop to your cheeks. Another product from uh, Benefit is the Light Browsings Brow Shaping Kit. Um, I've actually just been using the powder and the powder is really nice. It just comes with little tweezers and a couple of little brushes. I got some stuff from the Estee Edit, which is Estee Lauder's new kind of brand. And I think they're trying to reach out to like the younger generation. Kendall Jenner is kind of like their spokesperson for it. So they sent me a few of their things. The first thing is called the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. It looks like this. And basically it's just like a little stick and you stick it on and it's supposed to get rid of like all your pores. So it has like that really silicone-y feel and it really does like get rid of your wrinkles. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell here. I think the lighting is gonna wash me out too bad, but it, it does actually fill in the pores and wrinkles. I haven't tried it yet on my face because I'm nervous that it's gonna break me out, but um, I'll have to give it a go. Next is the Estee Edit the edgiest up and out double mascara. So one side is like a little kind of rubber brush and then the other side is actually like a brush brush. And I will say this mascara is pretty good. It does actually make your lashes look quite decent. However, it's really difficult to take off. Um, it also is kind of messy when you're applying it. It kind of got like all over my lid. And once it gets on your lid, it's really difficult to scrape off. Like it does not come off. It's really, really difficult. Um, it doesn't transfer throughout the day, so that's good. But um, 
it kind of stung my eyes just a little bit. I noticed that I had like my eyes were really like kind of irritated the whole day. So I would not purchase this. Um, I just think it depends on the, the type of person. Um, they also sent me the Estee Edit photo or flash photo gloss in the color white flash. I actually absolutely really love this. This is beautiful. And basically the whole kind of technology behind this, it's just a doe foot, is that, well, now it's like all stained with like a bunch of other colors. But it has like this blue kind of like very opalescent undertone. So it's supposed to make you, there it is right there. It's supposed to make it so that your teeth look whiter in pictures because it has that blue t blue undertone to it. Um, but I've been applying it, like it's really beautiful alone. I've also been applying it over my other lip products. So like today, I'm wearing it kind of on the top here. It just kind of creates a little bit of extra dimension, adds a little gloss, and it adds like a nice little kind of tone to it. So I really love this product. I've actually been wearing it a lot. Okay, and then they also have a new eyeshadow palette. This is called the Edit Eyeshadow Palette. Now. I showed you guys this on Snapchat, so if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you won't have seen this, but if you do, you will have already seen it. And I was saying how the, uh, the pigmentation wasn't super great. So I still stand behind that as far as swatching, but when I did actually apply it to my eyes, it was really, really good. Um, I think it's one of those products that like when you're swatching, you're like, what, is that it? Like, bummer. But then when I used it on my eyes, I actually created a really gorgeous look. I didn't have to work that hard. It went on really nicely. So. There's a bunch of shades over on this side. And then over here are transformer shades. So in the black light, they're gonna look different. Now, I don't have any way to test that because I don't have black light and I don't go to clubs. But if you are maybe a clubber, clubber, is that what they're called? Um, then you might be able to test it out and see what they look like. But either way, they're just a really pretty kind of like shimmery, but it's a very loose. It's not super duper tight shimmer. It's more of kind of like chunky kind of glittery but they're actually really beautiful on. And I was really surprised because swatching it, I was bummed. But when I actually had it on, it was gorgeous on. It looked really pretty. These shades were really nice to blend out. So I have to take back what I said on Snapchat because at first I was like, eh, it's kind of sucky. But it's actually really pretty when you apply it to the eye. I also have a new mascara from Elizabeth Arden. This is called the New York Grand Entrance Mascara. It's a very bright red tube. There we go. Um, and the actual wand looks like this. It's kind of like a curved rubber wand. So I'm gonna have to give that a go and let you guys know what I think. Pure sent me this amazing bronzer, which I'm so bummed because it smashed in the mail. So it broke a lot, but it's massive. And there was tons of different like shades in there. So I feel like there's some shimmery ones, there's some matte ones. So I feel like if it was actually in one piece, oh, shoot, one piece, I would like it, but it smashed. So I'm super bummed about that, but it's really pretty. Looks pretty anyway. Okay, Pure also sent me the uh, Fully Charged Mascara. Positively charged matrix that attracts to each individual lash to strengthen, thicken, lengthen, and separate for unparalleled performance. Oh, so it's actually supposed to help your lashes while making them look like you have mascara on. So let's see the brush of this. I got so much mascara sent to me. So that's what the brush looks like. So I feel like it's actually gonna be really awesome. So I'm gonna have to give that one a go as well. Like I said, some of the stuff I've used, some of it I haven't touched yet. Um, they also sent me the Pure Hydrogel Lift. This is the 360 degree eye perfecting primer. Smooth around eye area can be used alone or under makeup. Let's check this out. It's a really pretty little box. It just looks like this. And then, oh, it's just like a little pink kind of, oh. Whoa, that feels amazing. I've achieved the perfect eye makeup application with this hydrating all-purpose cooling eye primer that preps and smooths the skin for better wear throughout the day. Encapsulated water complex hydrates the lid and under eye for an instant brighter, firmer, lifted look while blurring imperfections and priming for concealer application. Oh, so you're supposed to put it under your eye and on your lid and it's supposed to just make everything look smoother and give you like a better wear. And I did, it did actually take my wrinkles away. So, and it's really cool, like cool feeling. Um, Elizabeth Arden sent me some new lipsticks. So they look like this. This one is called Valentine. And this is a really pretty kind of like red. These are really uh, creamy when you apply them. Next we have the color Marigold, which is number 13. So it's a nice kind of orangey. Yeah, it's kind of, it's actually very similar to the color I'm wearing right now. These don't really have a scent. Maybe like a soft kind of, I don't know, vanilla. 
Then we have the color Wildberry, which is like kind of a berry toned pink. And then last but not least, we have Pink Pink. And it's like a really bright kind of baby Barbie pink. So those are all of the lipsticks shades. Okay, Tenny, I don't know how you say her name. It is so difficult. Tenny Panosian, Pano, I don't, Panosh, Pano, I don't know. I, I know who she is. I always just think of her as Tenny, but I don't know, or Tenny. I don't know how you say her last name, but she has partnered up with Murad to um, basically be a spokesperson or something for the Invisibler Perfecting Shield, which is the SPF 30. It's basically like a primer um, that has sunscreen in it, so it's pretty cool. There's looks like there's makeup looks inside, it says. Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, she's created a makeup look. That's her. If you guys don't watch her on YouTube, she's so gorgeous. I absolutely really love her um, her videos. She's really awesome. She just did like a house tour or it was like an office tour. It was so gorgeous. Um, I will leave her down below, but it's actually really pretty packaging. So she's done that. Smashbox has come out with new color correcting sticks. So you know how if you watch Instagram, there's like tons of people drawing on their faces with all these different colors and it's for color correcting. So Smashbox has made it so I think it's easier because then you don't have to worry about dipping a brush in a little palette. It's just all in a stick. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys these. Um, these also come with a sharpener. So that's always nice because I hate when you get a product and you sharpen it with your own product or your own sharpener and then it gets ruined. So it comes with a sharpener in every single color. So we have the, uh, this is the look less tired in the color light. So this is like for underneath the eyes, I believe. I'm hoping you can see it. It's kind of like an orangey kind of like peachy undertone. Then we have the green color, which is supposed to get rid of redness. So if you're someone who suffers from rosacea or if you are like me and have gigantic bright red pimples, this would be work. So yes, this says get less red and this is what they look like. So they're really convenient and they feel very creamy. So you have the green color there. So you would just put that over maybe like around your nose, on blemishes, um, any kind of redness that you have. The next color we have is I believe for darker skin tones. So if you have like those dark under eye, um, under eyes, if you have darker, I think this is for like medium to dark skin tones, this says look less tired. So they have one for light and one for dark, but it's this kind of like orangey color that helps to get rid of like the, the kind of blueness or the kind of gray like darkness when you look tired. So that's for that. Um, and then they also said that you can use these ones for like, if you have maybe some pigmentation problems, some brown spots, stuff like that. And then for kind of dull skin, so if you need a little bit of like pep in your step, we have purple and this says don't be dull. So this one is a really pretty kind of lavender color. So those are all of the sh correcting shades that they offer. Um, they actually gave me like this really cool little like dial that shows exactly what to use each one for. But for me, I would probably be using the light, um, make me bright or whatever it's called. What's it called? Look less tired. Sorry. Um, and then the green because I don't really have need for those. I don't, I'm luckily, I was just blessed with acne and redness and scarring, but I have pretty good under eyes. They're not super tired looking. Um, so those are new from Smashbox. Super cool, really convenient, I, I feel like. Uh, then Pure has come out with some new cream uh, highlights. This is called the Sunkiss Glow Palette, and there's three shades in there, so that's what they look like. Now, I have actually used these today, and I was disappointed in the way they looked over. Uh, like, I had powder underneath my eyes that I set. Those are the three colors on my fingers. You can see what they look like. Um, they do not do well with powder guys. So if you put a lot of concealer and then powder underneath your eyes and then put this on top, they're not going to look good. They got all like blobby, if you know what I mean. Like it looked like the foundation was getting disrupted and kind of like patchy underneath. So I'm going to say this is going to be for someone who uses a dewy foundation, maybe a tinted moisturizer and doesn't set with powder and then just wants to barely put it under. This is for like if you're very minimal makeup because if you have a bunch of crap on your face like I do, it's going to disrupt it and it's going to look yucky. Um, this is the Moonlight Glow, so you have like a golden tone, a kind of pinky tone, and then more of a kind of champagne tone. So those are the colors right there. So again, really beautiful, but do not mix with powder. They don't go together. It is like oil and water. I also got the 
mineral primer. Uh, this is the Veil Mineral Primer. It's oil-free from Hourglass. I have it on today, so I'm trying it out. The nice thing about this primer is that it is SPF 15. Conceal the redness, minimize the appearance of pores, soften the look of fine lines and wrinkles, and it repels water and creates a canvas for flawless makeup application, and it has SPF 15. So far, I really like it. It actually looks really nice. Um, it's giving me kind of like a nice matte finish to my skin. Um, it does do a good job of like filling in the fine lines and wrinkles and pores. It has that silicone feel. I'm a little concerned it might break me out, but we will find out. Um, this I actually bought myself, and this is the Melanie Mills Hollywood Gleam on the Go. I saw this on a blog and they were talking about how they were super pale and self tanner drives them crazy and they um, tried this and apparently this is what they use on Dancing with the Stars um, and it's a non-transfer kind of bronzy glow. One of them is stuck. It comes in three different shades and you're supposed to just, you can either mix it with a lotion if you don't want it to be super intense or you can just put it straight onto your skin so you can put it on your legs, your chest, your arms, and it just gives you like a really fabulous like radiant bronzy glow depending on which color you use. So I'm just gonna show you the three shades on my hands so you guys can see. So I'm gonna try rose gold first, which looks like this. And obviously the if you get the big one, it's quite a lot bigger. Looks like that when you just put it on. And then when you rub it in, it kind of just gives you like a golden kind of glow to your skin. So that would probably be good for like lighter skin tones. Then we have a uh, bronze gold, which I believe is a slightly like more tan color. So that's going to give you like a little bit more color, like you look tanner. That's more going to be just kind of a glow. So then we have the bronze gold. So you can see it's kind of more of a bronzy tone color. It's a little bit darker give you like a really kind of like darker sh it's kind of a little orangey though hmm I don't know if that might be a little orangey guys I don't know we'll have to play with these once they're like on me okay and then we have the deep gold so I'm assuming these are going to go by your skin tone so like if you are fair like me you're probably going to want to go with rose gold if you have an olive complexion, you'll probably want to go with bronze and then if you have a deeper complexion you'll probably want to go with the deep gold so Let's see what the deep gold looks like. Oh, so the deep gold is really pretty actually. It has like a kind of warmer tone to it. Let's just put it on my arm. And these are transfer resistant guys. So once you put it on and they dry, they're not gonna transfer onto your clothes. So you can see it's, it's instantly given me like some color to my skin. So I think I like the deep gold and the rose gold. I think the bronze gold is just a tiny bit orange for me. The deep gold has more of like a tan tone to it versus like gold that makes sense but I'm really excited to play with these I feel like they would look the best on the legs to just kind of add like a nice little bit of sheen and shimmer to the legs make them look a little bit more slim you guys do like these kind of videos where like because I do get sent a lot of stuff and a lot of the time I don't show it because I get a lot of stuff and it's random and it's like you know I'll just quickly show it on Instagram or on snapchat but I won't like do a video of it so if you guys like these kind of videos where it's kind of like a what's new in the makeup world or what's new in on my makeup desk or something like that where I just kind of show you and like mini review the stuff for you guys um, give me a thumbs up let me know comment down below if you like these kind of videos because I always like want to share more stuff with you guys but then I feel like oh I don't want to feel like oh she got all this sent to her like what a little biatch so <laughs> let me know anyway thank you guys so much for watching Follow me on Snapchat, it's just Sam Sherman, um, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to check the link down below for calm.com so you guys can save yourself 25% off. Anyway guys, thank you!